Hello, my name is David Thibodeau. Um, today, we're going to do what I consider the very first intro project to Sigma DSP. Novice user, just starting out, want to do your first little project. Uh, that's the goal of this video, show how to use Sigma Studio, how to use the ADAU 1701. So with that in mind, let me quickly jump over to the um, to talk about the uh, 1701 very briefly. And as you can see, um, it's um, it uh, has a DSP core that uh, has a codec built in. So there are two uh, ADC, stereo ADC coming in, and there are four DACs for the output, so four channels out. Uh, there's serial ports in and out, there's some GPIO, there's some um, uh, what's called aux ADCs, auxiliary ADCs, which is meant for like control pots. It's only eight bits. And um, uh, and of course the control interface, I squared C or SPY. So it's a handy little part. There's a lot, uh, a lot of cool things you can do with it. And that's about all I want to talk about the hardware at the moment. <laughs> and so uh, we'll go to the Sigma Studio screen. But before we start that, I want to go back to me here. Um, let me show you the uh, what's called the USB-I, USB interface. Uh, and all it is is it goes from, obviously, from USB to I square S, um, I'm sorry, I squared C or SPI, just communications. I squared C communications or SPI communications. No audio goes through this at all. It's only control parameters, data sort of thing because the the DSP is running the program the host computer is only controlling it uh, and there's no way to get audio back and forth uh, unless you have other hardware to do it so um, so all this is is an I, I squared C or spy interface to USB and um, it comes with every eval every eval board kit will have it you do not have to purchase it separately um, Today we're going to use the uh, ADAU 1701 eval board. Face it towards the camera, but I'll uh, I'll put on this other camera instead, and uh, you get a better view of the board, and even a better view. How about we zoom in a little bit? Uh, it's a pretty cool little board. Has uh, a number of things that are handy in it. Uh, as I get a pointing device here. Um, there, there's one aux ADC pot, which is kind of handy. This is the port for the USB-I. Um, obviously, the 1701 is right in the middle there. And uh, there's a switch here, which sets the self-boot mode on or off. There's another switch over here, which is for the uh, internal crystal or the external uh, master clock in, which comes in on a few headers. There's... Um, over here, there's two LEDs hooked up to the GPIO ports, so you can use those in your program, and three momentary push-button switches, which, again, you can use the GPIO in your program for it. Um, the inputs, uh, there is a power input, by the way, but this board is so low power that you can, it powers right off of the USB. In fact, that's what that jumper right there is for, for USB power. Um, this is the input jack on three and a half millimeter uh, standard stereo input for the ADC in. And then you see there's only one jack out because that's channel two and three. The first two channels, uh, zero and one, uh, come out on this, um, on this uh, um, uh, 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 screw terminal interface here because there's a class D power amplifier on the board. So you can hook up speakers to this. And this is on the first two DACs and then the second two DACs is on this switch. So that's what usually our programs are set up to use. Um, and uh, that's pretty straightforward. So let me go back out a little bit. I'll, the USB-I, I'll explain a, a tad more. There's a couple of um, LEDs. There's a power LED, and then there's a, a SPI LED and an I2C LED. Uh, that tells you what mode you're in. And then underneath, there's a little switch here, which is for the to set the IOVDD level. 
3.3 volts or 1.8 volts. Sorry, I have this upside down here. Um, and uh, it's usually covered with a Kapton tape here you have to remove. But um, if you're going between boards that have different I.O. VDD, make sure to check this. Uh, it'll come set to 3.3. So, uh, yeah, it's simple as that. Just plug her right in, and you'll we'll see it light up here if I can uh, manage to plug it in. Ta-da! And you see it enumerates fine. And always hard to see the LEDs being on, but you see the I squared C LED is on. And uh, so bring in the um, the eval board. All I got to do is plug this in, and the eval board will power up. Uh, sure. <laughs> and there are no LED. Oh, no, there is a power LED. I take that back. It was just hard to see. Uh, on this one, there actually is a power LED. Some of our other low power boards do not have it. Um, so I'm going to hook up the input from another computer that's going to play some music for me when I need it. And then I'm going to hook up the output to an external speaker. You'll hear it. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's it for the hardware setup. Um, let's move on and uh, go do something with Sigma Studio.